Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's The Cube at IBM Edge 2014. Brought to you by IBM. Now here are your hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Okay, welcome back everyone here in Las Vegas, live at IBM Edge 2014. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. Joe, my co-host, Dave Vellante, co-founder of Wikibon.org. Our next guest is Carl Deshine, who is the co-president of PCD Solutions, um, winner of the PureFlex uh, Winning Edge Award. Also, we found out a Montreal Canadiens fan, which as Bruins fans, you watch us, you know Dave and I love <laughs> the Boston Bruins, love all Boston sports, except you know, I, do, I like the range a little bit, seeing some of them growing up. Welcome to theCUBE. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Uh, Rangers up, and Bruins, that's kind of an interesting I thing. love the Montreal's away uniforms. I like, I mean, they're now their home uses. The dark, the dark uniforms are by far, Dave, the best. Uh, hockey uniforms out there. It's anyway, welcome to theCUBE. <laughs> thank you. Um, so you're the winner of the winning edge. Tell us about the award. Uh, the award, uh, it's, it's because of the, uh, the investment that we did, the success that we did to convert a lot of customers to that new kind of uh, computing uh, approach, the integrated uh, systems approach. So uh, that's, that's for Canada. So what was the driver there? Why? Uh, um, it's not easy for a customer necessarily to say, okay, I used to buy my storage, my compute, my networking separately, and now I'm just going to buy them in one block. Uh, it's hard, right, because they have organizations not set up that way. So how were you able to be so successful? I, I, agree, I agree with your point, because within our company, it will always say pure flex is not something that is bought, it's something that has to be sell. So we need to understand the, uh, the value of the integrated service um, computing, and then tear that, tear that apart, apart and put that all together and say, okay, how it's going to improve the efficiency for a customer? And um, that's, that's what we did. Like the first, what we did first, we bought our own PureFlex, uh, gave that to the engineer, and they looked at it, tear it apart, and put that back to, together, did a great report for my sellers to see if there's any possible pitfalls. Um, so this built a lot of confidence my seller and they were able to, to bring the, 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 the story on the market and, and start to having good conversation with customers. Carl, what are the customers, what, give us some examples, what, what are they doing with PureFlex? Uh, what kind of applications are they running and how are they changing their infrastructure? There's many ways, you can run, most of them are, um, runs VMware. Um, so it goes very well with, with uh, VMware. Uh, some of them even have different type of um, load. They have uh, Unix load, AIX load, uh, VMware load, uh, bare metal uh, Linux, and all in the same, same frame, same box, same management tool. So that's, that's one of the key. So typically what we would like, the way we present it to a customer, we're trying to spend much less time on selecting the pieces and, and looking at more at the end result. It's kind of, let's say, a puzzle. Instead of uh, uh, looking at a, a, a thousand pieces puzzle, your focus is more on selecting the image on the box of the puzzle, so what you aim for, and then you turn that thousand puzzle to a, a bigger, hundred pieces puzzle and it's much more easier. So what, what kind of um, results do customers see? Can you share it with us? Um, were they doing things faster? Were they cutting costs? Uh, are they saving labor and reshifting people to other tasks? I wonder if you could talk about the outcomes. The, as I said, because we, we spend much less time on selecting the pieces, hmm. more time is spent on, on the, the real added value, like, okay, uh, it, it, it takes uh, much less time to do the implementation, so so you go faster to uh, put the implementation, uh, the the hardware in place, and then you can focus on on the uh, software, which is where the real value is, not like the infrastructure. So that's what. So there, so there was some time savings, labor savings, and, yes. and those people sounds like they weren't fired. 
Sounds like no. they were redeployed. That's yeah, right. that wouldn't be a big, that wouldn't go over well. <laughs> and, uh, so they redeployed good. toward the application. Yes, and, and they can start the application much faster. And it's kind of, uh, and this is a good step for a cloud, the private cloud or hybrid cloud, or, or what I would say more the, uh, the beneficial things that you expect from a cloud. So it's a, a efficiency, uh, um, agility, like you can grow, grow uh, faster also depending on you. So is that, is that the big driver? People essentially are trying to duplicate the public cloud uh, within their own private infrastructure? Uh, at first when we sold it, no, but you see that's a very good foundation to do it. So now customers looking more and more of doing it as a private cloud, so to be to get, deliver uh, good value to their, their customer. As a channel partner, when you're looking at uh, something like uh, PureFlex, um, are you sometimes tempted to try to add in different components and say, oh, well, maybe we can use this storage or maybe we could use this networking or are you pretty disciplined about it? I mean, there's always, you know, if a customer says, well, I would buy it if, you know, what do you do in those situations? You know, that's, that's the, the strength of PureFlex because all of the pieces were very comfortable and brings a lot of value. So instead of spending our time on, on the pieces like that, say, oh, I, I'd rather do it with this uh, uh, storage, let's say. Yeah. Um, we, we bring back the conversation and then we instead we invest our time in, in um, best practices, in, in um, um, uh, patterns, so that we can re replicate on an, or, or the customer can replicate when they do a, a new deployment. Uh, so the time is spent over there. And for storage, let's say with, with PureFlex, because of the uh, V7000 store wise, they, if they want to use their existing, they just do they it just the organization, it so this is yeah. great. So that's, yeah, that's like actually that. quite unique um, yeah. in the industry. Uh, I think in fairness, uh, I guess Hitachi can do that as well, but uh, IBM is unique in that regard. Uh, now, so I have to ask you, so, so how are you, or are you at all affected by the Lenovo acquisition? Like parts of PureFlex, the networking piece, I think goes over, right? And obviously yes. any x86 goes, goes over. over. So as a partner, uh, what do you think about that? Do you have any concerns? How is IBM communicating to you? Okay. There's a couple of questions. There's yeah, okay. there's a lot of questions. And, and there's a time frame. Yeah. So if we if I we go back, uh, to, uh, I think it's kind of January, end of January, when they announced that, it kind of uh, put a bit of, of uh, fear into our customers. Like the one that they were just making a decision on, on doing it. So it slowed down, for us it slowed down our business for a couple of a uh, couple of months then we uh, we're a good reseller but our main uh, advantage we we don't work for IBM we work for the customer so what we did we did our homework to see how comfortable are we with that transition so so far so good uh, um, it, it lagged a bit for us, like, like it put a bit of FUD, but now it, it's back on track. The only question mark still it, um, that for us was a bit more of a pain is uh, the power note, that it's, it's, it's not the power eight won't be available till at least a year. So that's a, a bit too, that's the only cloud, the, the bad cloud mm -hmm. for us. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, but there's, there's only so much you can do about that, right? You can't yes. control that. Now, are you also reselling storage or just? Uh, yes, we yeah. do, yeah. Maybe talk about that a little bit. What's happening in the storage market? How's that changing? You're hearing about software defined, you're hearing about flash, um, you know, new portfolio from IBM. How does that affect your business? That's, they have a very good line of, of uh, products now. So typically what we do, we, we, we take the technology, we're very good technologists, but at the same time, our added value is more the business. So we, we we take that and say we we, put, we we try to see with the that technology if we can um, we can uh, uh, take that in and bring value to the customer. And there's like with the new announcement on the V7000, there's the, the new performance. This is so great. So we got customer can use that. So Carl, when I ask you about the uh, customers, what is the critical top three things that they're working on right now? as they transform the IT, there's a lot of innovation strategies that include flash, cloud, 
What are the top three that you see across the customer base where the most attention and investment are, are uh, allocated to? We saw a lot of uh, movement on the, out of the VDI. A uh, customer uh, looking, implementing uh, desktop virtualization, that's a big topic. Uh, typically when we go see a customer, we don't talk about flash, we don't talk about technology for say. Solutions. Solutions, yeah. And, and VDI would be, would, would be one. Uh, when we see, we see a lot of movement um, on, sometimes customer doesn't call it cloud, but they, they say, okay, we want to be more agile, we want to be more reduce cost. flexible, <laughs> we want to reduce cost. So to us, equal private cloud. So that's a, to us, to private cloud, it's more a journey than a project. So we, we are bringing a lot of our customers to, uh, to that journey. How about application development? Is that hot right now and how is that changing? I guess, but we don't do that, so <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be fair. <laughs> to, to but your customers, are they, oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're moving fast around that? Yes, and, and, and you know what, it, it comes to my point on the pure flex, so less time spent on, on implementing uh, hardware. Even though we sell hardware, this isn't the main thing. Like, hardware, it's only the first set. The real value is on, on the application. So they, they can have more time to to better develop their uh, Do you focus on any particular application area? Microsoft, Oracle, SAP, uh, We do a lot of VMware. SAP. Yeah. We do a VMware big mm -hmm. time. We do a lot of SAP. SAP Anna, it's a, uh, 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 a big thing for us. Uh, we have a couple of customers who uh, implemented that. That's pretty good. Do you have expertise there, specific yeah. expertise? Yeah. yeah. Do you get paid a higher margin because you have that expertise, or is that just something you do to drive business? I would say we got more project because of that. So you win more business. Yes. Yeah. Carl, final question I want to ask you is, what is the biggest surprise that you've had with PureFlex this year that really shook you up and said, wow, a big surprise with PureFlex, hmm. besides winning the award for the winning edge? That, that, that would be the, big, the biggest one. The, the other big surprise was we uh, won again Boston. So that, that topped the Bruins, <laughs> so that topped everything. Uh, <laughs> <big surprise. laughs> but I mean, infrastructure right now is hot. You can see OpenStack, yeah. the cloud, you mentioned private cloud. Has there been any big highlights and surprises you've had? I, s I see more the customer more looking into integrated uh, systems more and more. That's a new way of doing the, uh, the IT, a lot, or, or a piece of the IT. So pure flex, no, it, it just keep on going the way it was supposed to be. So. No it's surprise, working. no surprise, it's good too. Yeah, so it's working well. Yeah, it's working, that's, oh yeah, for that's us the it's big, working very well. Well, surprise or relief or satisfaction. There, there was no uh, pitfalls or uh, no pain. Okay, well Dave, as you know, infrastructure as a service is something that's on our mind. Uh, Carl, thanks for joining us inside theCUBE, really appreciate it. Uh, go Canadians, uh, well actually Rangers has uh, got up two games to none. Um, no, we'd like to see the Canadians love, win to make it a series, you know. We don't yeah, want to make it that easy yeah, for the Yeah, I mean, they took out the goalie. I mean, yeah, that's pretty, that's a tough that was, one. He slipped and lost his edge three <laughs> series in a row. So, uh, <laughs> same way. So, he's got to get his uh, blade sharpened. This is theCUBE, we're sharpening our blade here, talking to customers here at IBM Edge, live in Las Vegas. We'll be right back after this short break. <laughs>